I definitely knew that existed. <laughs> uh, soon the hunt will begin. Welcome to I Hope You Suffer. Great. Huh. Uh, Predator's been like one of my favorite movies forever, and I had no idea that's what the tagline was. Well, that's the one that's on Letterboxd. I don't feel like pulling IMDb up. I'm sure there's probably like 40 taglines for this movie. That's a, yeah, that's a terrible tagline. <laughs> the tagline is... <clears throat> Get through the chopper. Should be. It should just be the the predator theme. Just, da, 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 da. It should just be like the clicking the noise the predator makes. Yeah. Uh, You're one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Put that on every poster. There you go. <laughs> but it's got to be the predator saying motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Doing Billy's laugh. <laughs> uh, I hate it. <laughs> I, I did not care for that. Uh, this is episode 293, probably, of I Have You Suffer. That seems right. I'm... Sure. What's a fake name in this movie? Dutch. I'm Poncho. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really thought there was somebody named Poncho in this. There is. It's there like is. Hor- like Jorge oh, Poncho oh, Ho- Ramirez. Jorge Poncho. Okay, I see. Yeah. I-, I was looking for it, and I was like, wait, I feel like that was a person. Katie, be I... gorilla soldier blown up in van. That's me. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I am um, hostage executed by Russian uncredited. Hell yeah. I'm Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this week, we're talking about 1987's Predator. Yeah. I always want to say The Predator, but that is a different movie. A uh, much worse movie. <laughs> uh, but also has Shane Black. So Do... Do you like any of the movies outside of maybe this and Prey? Predator 2, I, I really like. Yeah, but... I like Predator 2. Uh, Predators is okay. Like, if I want just, like, the dumbest, worst version of Predator, I'll put that on. Uh, the only one that I think favorite. is actively bad that I wouldn't watch is The Predator. Yeah, that movie is real bad <laughs> uh, minus keegan michael key being in it real waste of a movie so how many movies are there uh Nine. well if you count alien versus predator in there there's seven yes yeah, seven okay. and there's gonna be a move what badlands or something yeah coming sometime in the future yeah, I don't think they've started anything on it, really, other than saying, like, hey, we're bringing him back, and he's going to do a new Predator movie. Which, hell yeah. I had no it's, idea. There I, were so many. Oh, yeah, that's who directed Prey, Dan Trachtenberg. Yeah. I still haven't watched Prey. I need to get around to that. I don't know why Super I can't put it off. Easily am... second best. That's a low bar, but... <laughs> I'm yeah I've been interested in that one too because I think I didn't realize that it was like part of the franchise until you said something like whatever so I, I was like all right I'm... I know that like the way stuff's promoted now is you kind of just everyone just has to be like it's you know this like it's a predator movie but like it would have been so sick if prey came out and just no one realized it was a predator movie I know like can we it. bring that back can we that's... really seriously bring that back <clears throat> that's my like thing with like 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 i love prometheus but like i can't imagine how fucking sick it would be to go see prometheus without mm-hmm. being told it was like an alien movie and then all of a sudden they're like Waylon yutani blah blah yeah. blah, like lv whatever for the play i don't like lost my fucking mind to be fair when i watched it i don't think i knew but i also as you know what? had never seen any of the other <laughs> movies so <laughs> you know you knew in the form that we may do watch it for a, a podcast no, about well, all the alien movies but <laughs> well i had seen that one before that was like one of the oh, only that's ones right. i had seen I forgot. yeah I forgot yeah about that. but um all right kit why predator uh, yeah, because why? it's the second best action movie ever <laughs> created, other than Die Hard. I oh. Die Hard, Die am Hard number going one. To counteract that with Terminator Two. Oh, mm. 
I saw like that's, one of those. That's like two and a half. I saw one of those. Uh, <laughs> one's got to go, fucking things, and it was your favorite. It was Terminator, Terminator Two, Aliens, and Predator, and I was like, sorry, Predator. Yeah, me too. Uh, I, I think I'm getting rid of the original Terminator. I honestly, I think I like the original more than two, only because of the more like horror aspects to it. Sure. But like Terminator Two is a pretty fucking like perfect like '90s action movie. Oh yeah, it's incredible. Uh, you're right. We'll do Terminator Two for my next choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta pick Terminator, so it's more horror themed. Yeah, Terminator. <laughs> we'll just spend the whole time talking about Terminator. They land 2. on a planet full of Terminators. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another franchise got a real fucking shitty legacy going for it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't have nice things to say after the second one on I, Terminator. Yeah, I think I saw <laughs> the third one and then cut out completely. Smart. <laughs> third one's like okay. It's like a passable film, and everything after that's just the worst dog shit you've ever seen. I've except Dark seen Fate. Dark Fate was okay. All of the Terminators, except maybe whatever came out newest. The oh, yeah. the most recent one I thought was okay. Is that the one with like Arnold? on it again oh no wait he's yeah. okay Arnold never mind. and uh why can't i think of her name linda cardinelli <laughs> cardinelli <laughs> no no it's uh it's from terminator <laughs> 2 right uh yeah hamilton yeah, yeah. linda hamilton from one and um, two so never mind i have seen them all somehow that's <laughs> weird for me i, th- I feel like it's upsetting think of yeah. all the good movies you could have watched in that amount of time I think it just was one of those things that happened with like the James Bond where we're like, yeah, why don't we just, just watch, watch all, all of them? them? Yeah. So well, we did. Terminator is less of a commitment than all the James Bond movies. So <laughs> there is that at least. Yeah, that is true. That is very fair. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like this movie. Pretty, pretty perfect action movie. I, I think like, I think this is a better movie but I like watching two more because it's just dumb as shit. And I like the Yaucha as in like a fucking city for some reason. Sure. But like, I do like acknowledge that this is the better movie, but like, I like, I really like, especially like in the comics when they do like predator meets like Batman or like fucking some dumb shit like that, where it's just like a Yaucha fucking running around some city being hunted by somebody. Uh, like that's like they uh, did either of you ever play that video game they made that was just like a Predators video game not the Alien versus Predator ones but it's just like you're a fucking Yaucha just hopping around in a city trying to kill people no. oh no I never got to play that the <laughs> PS2 one yeah I think so I remember renting it and like not getting very far but just having fun just hopping around the city like being invisible and like shooting people from fucking far away Sneaking up on them while you're invisible to, like, cut their heads off and shit. Rocks. Uh, what a great concept. Yeah. it's I, I feel like you could do a pretty fucking sick Grand Theft Auto-style movie with just Predators. Somebody get on that. <laughs> Make everything, like, all the weapons you have to pay for. Because, you know, that's what makes games fun. Yeah. Microtransactions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all Love right. It. So, Buy Kate, horse armor for your predator. Katie, what do you think about predator? Well, uh, it's fine. It was okay. <laughs> That's what I was waiting um, for. Th- this was actually my first time seeing predator. Not surprisingly. Um, I don't like action movies and I don't like war movies. So this one was tough. I enjoyed so my one critique, like, I don't really have anything to say, like, fix this movie. Like, this movie's not for me, and I get that. I really enjoy the aspect of, like, being, it, like, just in general, like, in books and movies or whatever, the aspect of life being extremely normal, but then there's just, like, this one fucking weird thing happening. Like, in this instance, it's like a... Well, this isn't technically a war movie. Like, I understand that, right? But... It's, like, these people being sent in to do something, like, very normal, but then there's, like, a fucking alien guy (laughs) hunting him or whatever, and they don't know it for a really long time. Like, I love that aspect of it, and I really like when they finally figure out 
what's going on. Like once the people start dying faster and then they're realizing that the, what is the predator called? Yaucha. That's like their, like, you know, alien yeah. name. Yeah. Same like how Xenomorph, yeah. but everyone just calls them aliens. Right. Yaucha. Yeah. With a double, with a Y. Y A U T J A. J A. Tried to think about yeah. it in terms of the band. Like the band. <laughs> Wow. Okay. The uh, when they finally realize that it's yeah that there it's like a creature hunting them, and then obviously whenever he like reveals his face, awesome. Um, but the rest of the movie just for me was like kind of boring because it's just like the guys yelling at each other, which is you know, it's an action movie. Um, it's but like, <laughs> I don't, I don't. I'm like, great. Finally, I saw it. You know, like I feel I like. I think it's like it's it's pretty fitting that it ended up becoming like alien versus predator because this is so much like essentially the same plot as like alien but like on earth instead of like in a spaceship. Yeah. Like it's you know a group of people being stalked by and then having to escape uh, you know some alien creature that is killing them off for some reason they don't know. And, like, I don't know. I think it kind of works in the same same vein as Alien. But just, for me, not as well. But, like, oh, like again, like, not, not at all in a bad way for this movie. It just, I think, Alien is the better version of that. But yeah, it's also, I mean, I... Like, ob- oh, God. I was gonna say, I obviously agree. It's, it's, uh... Just, like, the quote-unquote genre, like, overall genres of the movies. Like, this is definitely not my thing. Um, I could imagine, though, like, I understand how kind of, like, quintessential this movie is for, you you know what I mean? So, like, I appreciate it, but um, I think, like, the only thing that I would change about it, if for me, is, like, we were kind of talking about, technically in the next episode, (laughs) uh, (laughs) how, like, insane it would have been to, like, gone to the, like, imagine going to the movie theater and seeing this like fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. like war movie, and then it turns out to be like a sci-fi situation, that would have been like mind blowing. But my only critique of that is that like in the very beginning of the movie, you see a spaceship, which to me, like okay, sure, that would have added to, to the confusion, right? Like people probably were like, did I even come to the right movie? Like, is this real or whatever? I feel like I don't want to see the spaceship at all. I think, but other than that, like... I think my only... The only thing I would really change is I think I would, like... Maybe try to cut, like, ten minutes out of the first, like, twenty minutes of the movie to get to Arnold versus the Predator faster. But, yeah. like, that's, that's, like, a small critique. Because, like, I like... Well, quote-unquote, like all, like, all of the characters in the movie. Like, I think they're all, like, kind of fun to watch. I just th- I think I'm more than anything I probably would just cut like some time out of the them fighting the like guerrilla army or whatever in it. Although I don't know Arnold picking up a car to drive into their <laughs> explode kind of rocks. Is this the movie that like made him like a superstar? I mean, or like led um... to like the sort of. I'm trying to think of where this is in his like uh, film filmography or whatever. I think this is definitely what after was Conan. Well, like I know Conan kind of like is like probably like the first thing that really like I, I guess like put him on the map. I guess, but I'm thinking in terms of like him becoming leading up to that like Terminator Two like action star. This is how we know Arnold Schwarzenegger now. Right. I'm trying to like was this before or after Commando? Uh I think ooh. Not sure. Commando was eighty five. Yeah, so this was right after Commando. Okay. Yeah, so this is probably yeah, like, so... like around that time where everyone's oh, like yeah. really so he, he had both Conan's and then the Terminator, Red Sonya, and Commando and Raw Deal before Predator. I, f- I feel like Conan like like has like a more as was more of a like ongoing legacy building thing as opposed to like immediate like where you know Terminator Two and shit was. Like I think this, um, I think the Terminators what 
really got him yeah. where it's like, oh, this this could be like a big action guy. And they put him in commando and it's like, oh, yeah. And he's also like kind of charismatic and funny and they're just kind of <laughs> all upwards trajectory. What a fucking like baffling series of events that led him to being like <laughs> in jingle the, all the way like <laughs> and yeah twins. like the probably <laughs> most well-known action star of like all time at this point yeah i mean as far as like reputation outside of acting also goes i don't know uh all right let's uh dive into the it the hunt a little bit again okay so um this movie is mostly uh people walking through the jungle so i do have notes they're obviously like kind of abridged so um <clears throat> so yeah like i said this movie starts with a spaceship which is a ship that's in space oh shit in case, yeah in case you didn't know that um, I will also say this was like kind of funny to me because uh, Jesse Ventura is in this movie and we had literally just watched like a, a, an X-Files episode with him in it. And I was like, what is going on here? You dive into his fucking conspiracy TV show. Yeah. It's on in the background right Where now. <laughs> goes to, uh, shit, why can't I think of the name? Bohemian Grove with Alex Jones. <laughs> Woof. He uh, um, like it's he seems like he's such a fucking weird human being. <laughs> where like I've yeah. heard him like talk about things where like I think he says he's a libertarian, but he's like the non shitty version of libertarian. But then it's got like just like all of these weird conspiracy brain bullshit going on. Fucking weird dude. I'm assuming the concussions. Yeah, did not help. Probably. <laughs> probably the brain damage um um <laughs> spaceship yep okay so then we have like a long scene of a bunch of guys arriving in a helicopter and um arnold whose name is dutch in this movie talks to a general about a rescue mission uh so essentially dylan, they've been lured son of a bitch that's what i said to you, <laughs> dylan from Diary of Doom the first time I met him in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Even though their names are spelled differently. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so Dylan is Carl Weathers, who I think is great in this movie. Yeah. Um, king. Uh, absolute fucking king in fucking Arrested Development playing himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anytime, anytime somebody shows up playing themselves, and especially if it's in a role where they're kind of like the butt of the joke, yeah, I absolutely, I, I immediately, I really, am like there for really it. appreciate like an actor, especially one that's had like a long career, being able to like poke fun at themselves. And yeah, he's, um, he's so good in Arrested Development. One of my favorites. You put some chicken too... bones in there. You got a broth going. <laughs> One of my favorites too is uh, Josh Groban playing Andy Bernard's brother oh, in office. The Office. I love him so much. You would. Okay. Fuck weirdo. I, I love him. Um. Some of the things see. that you like actively it's like weird. is very strange to me. <laughs> I know, but listen, I can't explain it. Okay, it just it is what it is. Kit, what do you think about Josh Groban? I don't have any strong feelings towards him. I have a modicum of respect for him for showing up in that episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. There you go. He seems like he's he got a good sense of humor. D's but... dream husband. Man, his music. Not nah, great. Yeah, I mean, his music's fucking awful, but... He, he, has he a... might be okay. <laughs> he seems delightful. He's not John Mayer, so he's got that going for well, him. Yeah, actually, honestly, you can say that about almost anybody. <laughs> um... Um, okay. Yes. So they basically hired Arnold and his boys under the guise of having, uh, going in to do this, like, rescue mission, 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 I've not, I can't talk anymore, <laughs> um, where they need to, like, save these diplomats from, like, some guerrilla warfares. Sure. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you essentially like like you find out i don't know why we have to explain this because i feel like anybody wants the listening to this scene it is a point. movie but, like, I hope so. and it's fine but <laughs> like you like arnold and his like group are hired to do this thing that ends up not being 
the truth. You set us up! <laughs> I, again, like, every time I hear him talk, I'm like, how did he become this fucking, like, yeah. massive movie star? Like, I, like the His co- comedic like, timing's impeccable. I mean, yeah, like, 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 he's, it's just Stick around. Like, I understand him playing Conan and, like, why that works. But when you have him in a role where he has to talk a lot, I'm like, come on. <laughs> I don't you know, said, like, like you I haven't said, watched Twins recently. I did. I watched it for the podcast, and it rocks. He's got a very good, like, comedic timing. But I, to me, I don't know why. It, he, like, to me, works better as, like, a uh, not as an action per- person, which seems a very insane, obviously, given his physical appearance, where he's, like, super jacked we should do but, um, days on this podcast at some point all right Hell yeah we'll do a, a double feature end of days at constantine <laughs> okay sounds good no triple feature um, we'll throw devil's advocate in there too all right do it uh throw in <laughs> meet meet joe black sure why not <laughs> <laughs> okay um okay we so watched Arnold... 35 movies for this episode <laughs> why not um arnold okay and i'm gonna also say you posted that picture of like the meme of mm. like the arnold and carl weathers like doing the their hand, like the high five sort hand, of hand clasp thing. high five handshake into uh arm wrestling situation i had no idea so like obviously that's a meme i had no idea this, this is what this. that was from yeah so that was delightful. I wrote Arnold does meme with Dylan and they're friends, but Arnold is sus because uh, they want to send Dylan along on the mission. And Arnold is like, uh, me and my team are s- solo. We don't want any company. And Carl's like, I'm coming anyway. And they're like, fine, I'm I guess. I'm Carl Weathers. So shut up. Listen to me. Like really, essentially. Um, so the guys all helicopter to a drop point and meanwhile they paint their faces with war paint and they flirt with each other, <laughs> aka tell sexist jokes, that one guy constantly telling really dumb jokes. Um, Shane Black. Oh yeah, that is Shane Black, isn't it? Yep. I knew he was in one of them, but I couldn't remember which one and then like I think I was just zoned out for the first like 10 minutes of this movie. This is like I said, well, this is what yeah. I've seen I mean, like just... enough times that I was like, oh, I'll just put it on in the background. Yeah, and it's just them all kind of like having small talk, at, like 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 the moments before going into a very serious situation where they could die, right? Um, they come upon like somehow they realize that there has been other attempts at like rescue missions. And Arnold, again, is just, it just is kind of like adding to this feeling of like something's not right here and like somebody's lying to them. And, you know, obviously they're putting their life at risk. So he's like not okay with it. And um, one of them finds, oh, one of them finds three skinned bodies hanging upside down, uh, looking very deliberate. Like someone put them there for a show, if you know what I'm saying. Um, they find the dog tags and Arnold is like saying that, uh, he knew like the group of soldiers that are now skinned. They were green berets and Dylan is just like, I don't know what's going on. News to me. I, the, like, I like, I don't know why, but like, I forgot that they could just stumble across like skinned bodies in this. And I was like, oh shit, this like who Stan, Stan Winston who does the makeup in this? Yep. He's fucking killing it in this. The yeah, skin I mean, body incredible. The skin bodies look fucked up. The predator design so is just gross. fucking amazing. Yeah. Looks like a cat Very good. when he opens his it mouth. <laughs> it does. And it looks like so expressionful, like his eyebrow ridges move around. I was like very impressed with like how um this is like obviously my first time not seeing stills of it so i wasn't really sure how the special effects would like hold up but they all still look really good especially for i did not i did not like the skinned men okay what is was it 1984 uh, 87 80, oh i think 84. yeah i guess technically this is like past the thing but 
I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I feel like action movies like don't always get the like sort of special effects, makeup effects, love that like a lot of horror movies do. No, and, right? Like, and know, I would there's, say there's a crossover th- with horror in this, but like I feel like that the there's just like a really a real like level of sort of like respect given to the uh, like special effects in this movie, whereas like. Uh, you know other action movies or whatever would have just been like i don't know fuck it who cares cgi it right i probably like thing at this point but right i think well uh i do think that um you're right like the the special effects in here do have like a very horror-esque feel to it which like obviously well this like uh, i think lends to like this again had like the parallel with like the alien franchise where, like, this is a little more horror-based than, like, Predator 2, with, like, where that's, like, pretty much, like, a straight-up action movie, where the okay. same way that, like, Alien and Aliens is, like, horror to action. Right. So, I don't know, I was, like, kind of just watching it this time gave me, like, a little bit more of that realization, because I don't think I'd really watch this in a while. Uh, I think um, I did like a binge of like all of them a year or two ago because I'd never seen anything past two, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna like get this up to, like so I can watch Prey when it comes out, and they just have not done that yet. And then never watch Prey. <laughs> the one thing that would have made it all worth it. <laughs> I'll get to it eventually. Um, Maybe. So, so the thing that they're like con- concerned to kiss about is that the bodies have been skinned and hung, obviously, but there's no evidence of like. A murder or anything having happened around like nothing's trampled there's no blood splatters so they're like okay this is like really strange because there's no evidence of them being killed uh then we get of course one of the most delightful things in the movie the predator vision um oh, which rocks. essentially is like a heat sensing situation <laughs> um and we we get it a lot and it's great i love it um that and like like it kind of looks like shit in this, but kind of rocks as like the invisibility stuff is really That's fun. So good. It was a little jarring to me, but I feel like I feel like it still works because it looks so fucking weird that it adds to like the otherworldliness of it in a way that you're just like, what the fuck is that? I like, just... could you imagine actually being out in the wilderness and then you see that and you're like i don't even am i literally have i gone insane no because i like, would just kill I, myself well the I'm, minute you know, i was if, in that jungle i'd be like i'm fucked <laughs> here let me just do it for you <laughs> sir. let me get that mini gun out and just blow myself into smithereens um so there's also, a bunch of why jungles... is that thing called a mini gun it's way bigger than a regular gun <laughs> the mega gun i i don't have the answer i would have called that. that a bfg gun there, I was thinking BFG, <laughs> but um, can't pick Doom uh, so for the next episode that you do. Do what? I said can't pick Doom for the next. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we have to do. Um, we'll have to do like a either a bonus episode or a month of like bad action movies so we can cover Doom. <laughs> I think we should do that, but pivot it to video game live actions. I mean, I'm in. Either way, Same. either way, as long as I can talk about Doom that I have not actually seen, that'll make me watch it. Okay. Uh, well, I'm very down for Doom, so perfect. Um, so there's a bunch of jungle stuff that happens, right? Because they're like snooping around trying to find these these missionary, not, not missionaries, these like diplomatic whatever. They come up upon the camp, um, and Arnold, like I understand that Arnold is like an experienced soldier but he literally just like sees somebody gets executed and he doesn't react at all he's just like well another day in the neighborhood and i was like sir oh my god um so this is when they finally they like are infiltrating the camp uh which is that arnold like rigs a car to basically like plow into them and explode god, fucking rocks pretty pretty intuitive there's a bunch of explosions and shooting obviously because they are attacking this like gorilla camp uh arnold ends up finding um a uh, a hostage named anna 
who they end up rescuing. She ends up being the only survivor of this like camp or whatever. And Arnold is like really neat. I think it's Arnold is like not really wanting to bring her along because um, he's essentially just like what something is going on here. And like, this isn't what you said it was. So and I don't want to like, she's going to like give us away, obviously. I like and... really did forget like before watching it this time. I watched like plot shit is in this. Because for some reason yeah. in my mind, as I'm just always like, oh, they're just like some dudes in a jungle and there's like a fucking alien hunting them or whatever. And like, just like, I forgot all about her being like a plot detail. It's uh, interesting watching it this time. <laughs> being like, oh yeah, yeah, this movie's got like a lot more going on in it than like I ever remember. Yeah, and like, I don't really understand, obviously, like the politics behind what's going on, but like essentially... Uh, Mac is like, I don't know, there was some serious shit going on down here, and this is not what they said it was. And one of them says, I ain't got time to bleed. And I was like, that's so hard. <laughs> I still think, um, well, I don't know, hardest line in the entire movie is if it bleeds, we could kill it. Yeah. Pretty good. There's some good There's some good one-liners in here. Um, Arnold confronts Dylan about lying about the mission, essentially, and is like, I don't really know what the fuck's going on here, but like, I, it, this is not cool, and if you want to save this woman, Anna, she's going to be your responsibility. Like, I'm not dealing with it. Um, more Did you hear vision. Arnold say meat grinder, which is fantastic? <laughs> it was <I>, meat grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I did not uh, hear that, but there it is. Uh, more predator vision and the guys um, essentially they're kind of like showing us that their predator is like able to like record the voices of the guys as like uh... oh I meant to say earlier when you were talking about like the um, vision looking kind of shitty or whatever it's just like sorry Merlin is screaming no, I was I was door. I was saying the invisibility oh yeah 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 I was gonna say it is really like at the end. When the predator like takes his visor off and you see what his actual vision is, I was thinking like he is such a good he is like literally so good at like hunting and killing because he can't see for shit. Like he can <laughs> barely see. And then like his little like visor that's like giving him like the coordinates of things is just like a triangle, like a shitty triangle. And say, I'm like, any, bro. Anytime you see like through the visor, it's there's too much going on. I would be like, I wouldn't be able to get anything here? done. I know he's that's why I'm saying he's he's a boss um okay so yeah so like the predator is now recording the guys like um like talking whatever and we see in his predator vision like his hand so this is like the first glimpse we're getting of him that he looks like a creature essentially uh there's more jungle stuff um the girl Anna eventually tries to run the guy with the glasses goes after her and the predator comes and gets him. Um, so yeah, he's, he's like, I don't even know how to explain the invisibility stuff. Uh, I mean, because it's, like, it just kind of looks like a weird, almost like kaleidoscope effect, but like, it's like a heat wave distortion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like a bent lens moving over something. I actually, it's like I actually was like reading how they pulled that effect off, and I can't remember now because spoiler, we were supposed to record this like I don't know last week. Yeah. Uh, and at this point, I don't remember, but there was like something about how they had to like shoot it in red and then pull color out of it or some shit. It was kind of interesting. Hmm. I just don't fully remember. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, they he gets got or he they take him and the guys are basically just like um like what the fuck happened? Where's his body? Like we're so confused. Like what attacked him? And um, the woman at this point is kind of like not pretending that she can't speak English, but they're like having somebody talk to her in Spanish, so she's answering in Spanish, and they're like confused because he's like what happened? What happened? And she just says the jungle came alive and took him. That is terrifying. Another hard no, one. Okay. That. <laughs> that is so scary because like one of the person like translates for them and they're just kind of like, what the fuck? Um, this is when Mac uh, sees the predator. But like, again, it's so hard to explain if you haven't seen it, but he's like looking out in the distance and he sees 
the predator moving, but like in that indivisibility thingy and he sees it and he's like understandably very freaked out because he's like saying like, oh, I can see it, but like you can't really see it right because it's invisible, but you could just tell something's fucking weird. And so everybody else is just like, Oh, this is a, this is a scene where Mac like comes up and sees it, and he's like ah, and he starts shooting, and then everyone else shows <laughs> up, and just then obliterates the unloads, <laughs> unloads all so of their sick. ammo for like ten minutes, and then they're just like, it's one of the longest fucking just just nothing but gunfire scenes I feel like I've ever seen. <laughs> yes, they're it, I... like decimating the jungle. Say like fucking Jesse Ventura like rattles off all the minigun ammo and just keeps it held down for like 30 seconds afterwards so they're like exploding plants and stuff or whatever and the predator ends up getting away but he is wounded uh and he is leaking neon green blood which i think looks so cool um and it's just like drip drop on some of the plants or whatever and none of the men seem to notice even though like again bright neon green uh, but Anna notices, right? Um, then we get a scene that I thought was very cool of... Um, what does that even say, though? Predator... Oh, decloaks. The Predator takes off his cloaking device, so we see him finally for the first time, kind of. Because it's not showing us, like, the neck up. It's, like, the neck down of him taking out his, like, space first aid kit and, like, repairing his wounds. Which I thought was really cool. Um, because I feel like, too, like, obviously, the Predator is not totally indestructible, but normally I feel like when you're watching, like, sci-fi, like, alien or, like, monster movies, they do make the monster seem, like, very, like, like, invulnerable, and they're immediately already showing us yeah, him, that's, like, that's true. I don't think patching I himself. Yeah, so that was really cool, I thought, and, like, also to show that he is, like, an intelligent life form because he's, like, performing first aid. But also it's kind of futuristic because he's an alien or whatever, so I just liked that, like, little um, scene. Um, This is also, oh, and by the way, like, sometimes when we see the Predator and he is in his, like, invisibility I keep wanting to say invisibility cloak, which is so stupid. uh, His eyes flash... So Mac is like, I saw, they're like, there's nothing here. What What are you, like, what's going on here? And he's like, I saw his eyes. I saw his eyes. Uh, again, they unloaded like 200 rounds and nothing. <laughs> oh, he says they unloaded 200 rounds and nothing of Earth could have survived. Spooky. And then somebody says, we're all going to die, which I thought was very funny. Um, <clears throat> at night, all hell breaks loose, essentially. Uh, there's like all of this commotion and the guys are like freaking out but it ends up being just, like, a wild boar, which is actually also very scary. Those things will yeah, just, like, fu- fuck fucking thing. kill you. Um, that was huge. The um, guy who, I, again, I don't know anybody's names aside from Dylan and Anna and um, Mac, so well, whoever Dutch. got... What about Dutch? It's Arnold. Well, I called him Arnold. Well. So, but whoever... <laughs> Honestly, whoever... that's just how he should be credited in everything. He should only play characters named Arnold. I agree. He could. We could. We um, could reboot. Uh, Happy Days. He could be the owner of the restaurant. I. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> hey Arnold. <laughs> oh my God! I'm not a food. I head. need someone to do like the funny or die fucking version of that. It was just Arnold Schwarzenegger playing fucking Arnold from Hey Arnold. Like a Shouting eight-year-old a boy kid. or whatever. <laughs> stooped kid okay uh, well, what i'm trying to say is like whatever the guy was that was with anna that got killed they were carrying his body but the boar like showed up and like wreaked havoc or whatever and then they're like ah, oh, it was just a boar and they're like wait it wasn't just a boar because now that guy's body is missing and they had put a bunch of trip wires around his body and so they're like what the fuck like how like the boar could not have like tiptoed over trip wires to steal this guy's body so something else obviously is still going on right and um somebody says something that makes arnold realize that the predator is using the trees to get around that's why they never found footprints they never found like broken brush around 
like any of the victims or whatever, he's using the trees. Um, let's see. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Arnold. I got confused because Arnold and Anna. Arnold realizes that they are being hunted by something and that, um, like, they're going to need everything that they can get to, like, survive this. So he cut... Anna has been, like, bound at the wrist or whatever. He cuts her free. And this is when he says, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Anytime... Like, the entire time watching this, all I was do- doing was being like, I want to listen to Graf Orlock. Because <laughs> I feel like so many of their songs are from this movie. <laughs> and I know, I think that's, like, the chorus to one of them. I, I mean, it's it goes hard. What a fucking cool band. So, let's see. Yes. So, this is when there's, like, a montage of them setting up a bunch of traps um, and, like, trip wires, whatever. And Arnold goes sneaking out into the into the jungle, right? And um, they... They're, he's like just sneaking around, looking around. He has set up like a like a tripwire and a net. And this scene I thought was really cool because the predator essentially is trying to also sneak like tippy toe up to him without being noticed. But he gets caught in the net, but he's still invisible. So it's like the net goes up around him and like flies up in the air, but you can't actually see anything inside. But it's the shape of him, which I thought was uh, like a pretty cool. Um, scene and uh, but you know he ends up breaking out because he's got like space laser guns and shit that he's shooting all over the place um space laser guns yeah and at this point like enough damage has happened to the predator that his like cloaking device starts malfunctioning so it's like and like you can see glimpses of him (laughs) and so dylan finally sees the predator and he's essentially like and so like the whole thing with their relationship is that arnold and dylan are supposed to be like like old best like war dog friends or whatever and dylan knew that some weird shit was going on but like contracted arnold and his friends to come and figure like come and investigate like essentially signing them up for like a suicide mission right and so i think and like obviously he didn't know what the predator was but once he sees it he's kind of like oh my god like i can't believe that i like got all these people here we're all gonna die or whatever so he's kind of just like you guys get out of here i'll stay and like hold up hold him off or figure it out or whatever so he's gonna kind of like sacrifice himself and this is the first time that arnold says get to the chopper <laughs> isn't it the only time he says it he says it twice oh does he nope uh, this is when he's telling anna he says it kind of calmly just normal get to the chopper right um who is D- oh Dylan? Dylan finds Mac, who is hiding in in the in the bushes, and um, he's Mac is like, I see him there. He is, and so Dylan's looking, and Dylan also finally sees him, and he's like, Okay, uh, you stay here. Like, oh, let's let's go around both sides of him, and we'll get him or whatever. So Dylan and Mac like sneak out into the to the jungle, uh, but then the predator pretty much immediately explodes Mac's head. <laughs> R.I.P. So. Yes, R.I.P. Dylan finds Mac's dead body, and um, this is, like, the first time when the Predator kind of, like, uses their recorded voices and, like, echoes Mac's voice to Dylan, which is, like, (laughs) fucked up, right? And um, now he can, like, see where the Predator is, and he tries to, like, shoot at him, but the Predator shoots his arm off uh, so that... His arm lands arm on the drops ground, firing, <laughs> continuing to fire, but unfortunately not in the right direction, and the predator just ends up killing him. Uh, R.I.P. Carl Weathers. Shout out to him. I don't think I would have been able to get my other gun and start firing it after I'd got my arm. Lost shot an off. arm? No, I, probably. I got, I got faith in you. I think you'd be able to do it. That's, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Arnold's group, meanwhile, has been traveling away from them, obviously, and hears him screaming, right? Oh, well, no, I wrote another name, Billy. All right, Billy. Uh, Billy. I love Billy. <laughs> um, who is Billy? Uh, he's he's the dude that's shirtless and always says, like, 
really cryptic things. Ah, uh, yes. As the uh, the headband, okay. he goes off yes, to yes, knife yes. fight the predator. He's kind of like the Rambo. I wouldn't wish guy. that on a broke dick dog. Yep, there you go. Uh, and he's essentially just like, okay, like you guys like go on ahead and he stands. <laughs> I want to knife fight the predator. It's fine. But you know what? Good for him. I appreciate his initiative. <laughs> he, <laughs> he crosses the bridge and you just immediately hear like, <laughs> like literally, yeah. Like, so oh, there's, like, well. there's like this, yeah. Is it a bridge or is it a huge fallen log? Or is that yeah, bigger? it's like a big wooden log. Okay. So the group all like scuttles across and he's just like, go, go on, get. And he's like standing in the middle of the log. And he is again, like kind of like a macho, he, you know, like I said, he's like the Rambo guy. He's like, oh, like crazy or whatever. Immediately is murdered, uh, which, you know what? Probably best that way. Right. Um, He's immediately killed. The predator appears because he's, he's caught up and he basically starts shooting and he ends up shooting everybody except Anna. And this is when Arnold says, run, get to the choppa, which is, you know, the more popular scene uh, part. And um, Arnold is, and, and like, essentially Arnold realizes that he is literally hunting. Like he is a predator. He is hunting prey and he's like, because Anna tries to pick up a gun, and he's like, no, he won't attack you if you're not wearing a gun. And, you know, I really appreciate that the Predator has, like, a strict moral code that he sticks to. Like, that woman doesn't have a gun. I'm not going after her. Like, It's, it's really interesting how, like, how much of the lore they built from this into, like, mm-hmm. like, you know, it's the same way they did with, like, Alien. Like, you know, they're, like, there's no real explanation for anything but they start building a lore with the sequels and like they do the same thing with this but like it's kind of interesting watching this back of how much of this stuff was kind of like already built in in the first movie where because you know like how much of the lore is like oh they come to this to like learn how to hunt they come to earth to learn how to hunt or fucking whatever yeah but they all have like that strict like moral code as like hunters that's just interesting yeah it is, it is, like, because it's, like, beyond, um, again, like, going back to, like, the first aid thing, it's, like, beyond an alien creature. Like, I would say that, like, the xenomorphs are kind of, like, they are apex predators, but they are, they're closer to animals, right? As as far as, like, a creature goes, they, they don't have the same, like, sentience as, like, yeah, they're not as, a, like, humanoid person. as, like, the... Right, the, and... The and are. They are to the point where they're like, we want to be the best hunters. Like we want to be like the top at the food chain or whatever, but we still, they still have like very strict morals that like humans don't even have, which is like very interesting to me because they don't look like they are humanoid, but they don't look human. Right. So interesting. Um, Okay. Yeah, okay, so run, get to the choppa. Um, he tells Anna, he won't attack you, go run. So she runs. Arnold runs. There's basically this, like, chase scene where um, Predator is, like, chasing Arnold through the jungle or whatever. Then Arnold, like, cannonballs off a cliff. The thing that was so funny to me about this is that they made it seem like Arnold was very startled to fall off a cliff into water. Like, he just was, like, literally running at full speed so fast that he just, like, couldn't, he didn't even realize. He was just, like, ah, like, (laughs) sudden. And I was, like, okay, guy. So he falls into the water, goes down a waterfall, of course. Uh, He's also, like, fucked up a little bit. He's been shot. So, like, he's not... But he's fine, right? He's fine. Uh, he lands yeah, at the bottom of the waterfall. Right. Just having a bad time. He's just like, yeah, you had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> he, he apparently had a fucking rough time shooting this movie because, like, really? I, I guess it was like freezing cold. And I like, say you just gotta of, be wet and cold and muddy the whole yeah, time, all, right? So like, yeah. it was he was covered in clay, which like gets extremely cold when it's cold out so he was like freezing almost the entire time shooting most of this movie yeah i believe it because he's like not really wearing that much clothes either right you know like yeah that sucks um i feel like the whole second half of the movie is like shirtless or whatever yeah um so this is where this is 
the act this is where well this has all been like where the action really starts but this is essentially like where we get to like arnold and the predator being like one-on-one the face so off. yeah this is where i really like like <laughs> nick cage yeah me too me too this is where i like legit was like super oh, into it were you, were you about to um, talk about predator and nick cage doing face off together we're like nick cage as a predator yes. face because i'm in <laughs> yeah. someone make that movie <laughs> <laughs> I was. I said, yes, I was. Um, okay, so he goes on the waterfall. He comes out and essentially kind of like can't believe that he's alive, right? And um, he's like, okay, great. Like I escaped, but not so because the predator also went in the water and he pops up behind him. <laughs> but um, the water has kind of also made his like cloaking device even more short circuity to the point where like he can't really see, like he can't be cloaked anymore. And because Arnold kind of, like, landed, like, came up on the bank wet, he is now completely covered in mud, and Arnold is quickly realizing that the Predators, like, Arnold obviously, like, we know that the Predator sees through heat vision, right? Arnold does not know that, but he's realizing at this moment that the Predator cannot see him, because he's, like, literally right there. Have, and then... have you guys seen the meme? That's like somebody with like their knees and back all fucking bright red, and then like the rest of their body's like that sort of blue color from like heat vision, and it just says like what the predator sees while he's chasing me. Yeah, it's <laughs> no. like the most relatable meme. <laughs> um, this is like somebody like bent over from I think one of those sort of like icy hot commercials or some shit where yeah. their back is like oh. bright red, their <laughs> knees are bright red, and everything else is like fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen those. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, this is, like, the Predator's just, like, standing there, like, looking, like, like, <laughs> I can't imagine how, like, awkward that would be, because he's just, like, well, he, was, he was here a minute ago, what happened? Uh, and he just kind of starts, like, blasting with his, like, shoulder cannon, like, pew, pew, just at random, and that I that's what shoulder really... Shoulder cannon's so bad. <laughs> you could. That's what makes him kind of realize, like, oh, he can't see me because of the mud, right? So Arnold kind of, like, tiptoes away, right? And there's, like, another montage of him setting up more traps and, like, making weapons because at this point he doesn't really have anything. So he's, like, making explosive arrows with gunpowder and making bombs out of banana leaves and shit, which is insane. Cool as hell. Um, this is where I'm a little confused about what was happening here. The predator, uh, who is in parentheses purring softly at this Hell point, oh yeah, it is. Um, it's a cat. has exactly has like I assume the skulls of like the people that he've killed. I just wrote has a has a skull collection, and I don't know what he's doing with the skulls. They're just trophies. He's like cleaning them off. He's just, he's just like looking at them. Okay. Yeah, I think and he's also, like, is it? predator 2 where they had has the uh xenomorph skull he's like yeah he's like yeah, using uh, like that. nitrogen to clear off the blood and stuff that's what the yeah. spray is he was like well i don't know where that guy is but let me just like polish off my yeah. trinkets I'll while i'm waiting go back and tidy up uh he also uses his laser thing to like heat up a knife blade question mark hell yeah okay uh, okay, so do you never just heat for? up your knives? You don't use your like laser cannon shoulder thing to <laughs> to forge weapons. Yeah. No, I haven't. You know I, how I'm good that... you would be on fucking forged in fire or whatever that fucking show is called. Yeah, you are allowed to bring like your toolbox or whatever. <laughs> what if somebody just like walked in with like a fucking shoulder cannon and was like, "I'm ready." Predator shoulder just cannon totally. blew up yeah. Bill Goldberg. <laughs> oh, that's knife or death. Yeah, that's but yeah, thing. I agree. It's not <laughs> okay <laughs> um yes i am like for some reason hyper fixated on forged and fire and also josh groban i don't know i'm i can't explain my life um Same. let's see uh <laughs> who, who, who amongst us can arnold okay gets all his little weapons together and like sets up traps or whatever he sets a huge fire uh, so that he can lure the predator to him and he hides in a tree. Um, there's like this freaky scene where Arnold is like in a tree waiting and the predator climbs down the tree, but like, I don't even know how to explain. He's like crawling as if he would crawl on the floor, like on his hands and knees, but 
completely to down, down a tree. like a vertical tree. It looks you. very it's, crazy. He's a cat. I think he is actually. Uh, and Arnold is just like a oh, freak. And I will say also, um, like the predator obviously is the scary thing in this, but Arnold at this point is completely covered in mud, except his eyes are open <laughs> so wide that it's like very jarring because he has like a lot of whites to his eyes. And it looks very freaky. Um, he looks absolutely deranged. Like, literally. Which, fair. But I'm it just rocks. saying. It was, it Same. was, it was scary. Uh, so, yeah. Crawl, crawls right past him to check out the fire or whatever. Um, Arnold sets off an explosion. Uh, but just barely misses the Predator. And um, the Predator just immediately starts, like, shooting at the tree line or whatever. Because, again, he doesn't know where Arnold is. Um, Arnold gets kind of, like, messed up from, like, the shooting, and I think he falls out of a tree or something, and the cloaking device on the Predator continues to, like, malfunction or whatever, so he's able to, like, see him or whatever, and the Predator ends up getting wounded. Um, Arnold, like, follows this blood, neon green, again, I will say, blood trail, and, um... What happened? Mm. Can't read your notes. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to remember if this is like the same scene and I just like didn't write it where he like follows the trail into like a tree and then the predator tries to like jump down behind him, but then he like throws a bomb and it explodes him or whatever. I think is the scene. Arnold gets like thrown into the water and it washes off the mud that's on him so the predator can like see him again, right? <clears throat> um, the Predator picks Arnold up by the neck and kind of like chokes him out against a tree and then just like lets him go and I was like what is happening here this is when the Predator takes off his <clears throat> mask uh, and reveals his face oh, and that's, that's when so I wrote good. his vision is worse his like regular vision instead of yeah. being heat vision is like just literally all red everything's red <laughs> Fucking like garbage, like that, like <laughs> that Cyclops meme. Got shitty it's eyes, just, like literally, and that's again why I'm like he, he's, they're like, resolved to be like literally the best of the best. It's to the point where he's technically already caught Arnold and won, but he lets him go and like makes himself worse to try and go like one on one with it. like makes himself worse by I mean like takes off the thing that makes him be able to see correctly and is like, all right, let's go, brother. Um they gotta make it a fair fight. I don't know why I was like thinking I was doing like a Hulk Hogan thing, but my voice didn't dip down that was a low enough. So it just Hulk sounded Hogan impression. I know. So it just came out as like <laughs> I was normal <laughs> Right. So it just came out as I myself was saying brother like that, which I do not say. Uh but I was thinking brother. Um okay. Let's see. Yeah, it makes his vision worse. Uh, then they, like, fist fight a little bit. Um, and um, Arnold tries to lure the Predator into a trap. He, like, s like sneaks into this little hidey hole where he has these, like, spikes waiting. But the Predator sees the spikes and are, like, nice try and just, like, walks around them. Um, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast. Um... But not so fast Predator because Arnold has another trap set and he sets it off and it drops, it literally drops a huge ass fucking log right on the Predator's head and it just like fucking cr crunches <laughs> it him. fucking rules. <laughs> it's just like, boom. It's uh, like pancakes him. Takes him. Um, and Arnold is like, woohoo, yippee, and like runs up and like <laughs> pick. <laughs> I need to hear Arnold Schwarzenegger make those noises so bad. <laughs> okay let's get him on cameo <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> um arnold comes up to him and holds up this huge rock and is going to like smash his head with a rock um but decides that he's not going to and i'm not really sure why because then the predator is like jokes fucking on you bro and he like sets off his like arm device and starts laughing in billy's billy Billy's voice? Yeah, Billy's laugh. Terrible. Because <laughs> if you, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. So, <laughs> like, 
Imagine if <laughs> it's so good. It starts if like what, if so know... low and slow and speeds up to Billy's actual laugh and then just goes like super speed, like yeah, it's two terrifying. times the speed. Like <laughs> I really hate it. Uh, and, like, if you don't know what the Predator's face actually looks like, just, like, Google it. Because, like, the laugh distorted and, like, coming out of his face with his, like, beady little eyes is very unnerving. And essentially, like, what's happening is that he is, he is, like, I will say, I did say that I was, like, very impressed with him. But I think this is kind of a bitch move because he's lost. And so instead of just, like, accepting his death, yeah. he's going to just, Sore like, loser. Yeah, said all, which you know. Isn't it like well, essentially explained in like the further movies that it's supposed to just like erase any trace of them if they're gonna like that's fair. be killed or whatever. As soon as you started saying that, I I did think like t- technically they are an alien species, and if they don't want people to know, then yeah, I think that there's would make like sense. Yeah, set off a nuke. I think there's like different ideas in like the uh, like different movies. I know like an alien versus predator isn't it supposed to just be like they like are supposed to just like obliterate all the xenomorphs on the planet they're on when they start losing and shit. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Alien versus predator is <clears throat> a very convoluted fucking things going I on. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, so he's like detonated this uh bomb on his like sh- spacecraft, I assume, and Arnold essentially realizes what's happening and just like runs away. And there's an explosion but he's fine. Uh, the helicopter that Anna, the Chapa, I'm sorry, that Anna has run and gotten on sees the explosion and is like, oh, wow, let's go towards it, which seems crazy. Uh, but basically it arrives to rescue Arnold and he's fine. He is not, uh, he is not in the least scarred from the situation at all. And that's the end of Predator. Uh, that was perfect. Very, very perfect condensed. Film. I think this movie was, like, close to two hours also. Yeah. I, I think so. it's only, like, 96 minutes, right? No, it's, like, a an hundred hour and, and something, I thought. So I remember <clears> looking <throat> and being like, damn. However, yeah, it's well, 107. 107. No. So. Yeah. Hour, hour 47. Yeah. Yeah. So, like... It but... is by because it's perfect. <laughs> like I said, like, so... I think I would cut, like, maybe 10 minutes out of, like, the first, you know, half of the movie to get to... I think I just want to get to, like, Arnold versus the Predator quicker. Or, like, maybe have more time with that. But it's, yeah. it's pretty pretty damn close to a perfect action movie for me. I still, yeah, I mean... Like, Terminator 2, I think, is still kind of the peak. But it's a banger. Just the special yeah. effects alone, it's worth it. Just, like, that fucking predator mask or whatever the face is pretty fucking incredible right and and i didn't really like linger on it at that point but like when he so he looks he looks like when you see just him he looks like pretty humanoid and like futuristic because the face is kind of like i feel like kind of like a kind of like a stretched representation of what we would say like little gray men look like kind of right and then when he takes it off, it is completely not what you would expect. He's got like four mouth prongs <laughs> things and his mouth opens kind of like an umbrella situation. And he's got like these beaded little eyes and kind of like he kind of, you know, like he kind of like represents like a spider bug kind of situation. Um, and but the scene where he's like choking Arnold out uh you see like actual expression in his face and it's like very flawless looking like it looks like it could be real you know what i mean like so i i like that aspect of it but yeah this uh this movie i feel like just came out at like the right time for special effects because if it came out like 10 years later it would have just been like a cgi fucking disaster It'd probably look like yeah shit. definitely yeah uh all right let's uh talk about some real dumb movie news y'all Perfect. excited for the Pooniverse? yeah really no. <laughs> just fucking i hate it <laughs> the movie's so bad i can't finish it I, I've, did, I've, you, did you watch it sequel. apparently I right now watched the, 30 minutes of it the sequel <laughs> the sequel's got a uh 100 rot tomato score 
the fuck compared to what one the person the reviewer. no it's like so like i think it's critics review is currently sitting at 100 percent, and like audience is 85 compared to the three percent and like 30 percent for the first movie i'm not gonna watch what we're we doing but... here that's gotta yeah that's gotta be oh my joke. god seven reviews Yikes. I don't know if maybe they fucking Bloody actually disgusting. stepped their yep. game up, mm-hmm. but th- those movies look like shit, and I'm not interested. Oh. Yeah. They're counting a two and a half out of five as a positive review. Oh, pff, okay. <laughs> two and a half out of five equals 100%. I don't think, yeah, I don't, I don't, the math ain't mathin'. Katie, are you? <laughs> greasy, <laughs> greasy teenage horror obsessives or jaded media savvy stoners will probably get a chuckle or two out of it. That's a positive review. Pass. <laughs> Katie, are you excited for Scarlett Johansson Fucking to uh, tomatoes. join Jurassic World? Jurassic World. You know what? That thing is already crashing and burning, so why not? <laughs> uh, do you guys see the stuff about them using AI in Late Night with the Devil? Yep. No. I was looking forward to that, and then I read all that and was like, all right, never mind. So apparently they used AI for like these cut-to-commercial interstitial things that is like completely unnecessary it's so stupid like what a yeah, fucking like, unforced what error it's, yeah it's literally just like it's like, like three stills yeah. like fucking hire an artist to fucking paint them no yeah it, it, it and like they look like shit like they don't even look like i saw people like trying to stick up for it and say like well it's supposed to look like the 70s but i'm like it doesn't it looks yeah like AI hire someone garbage. that can draw 70s stuff what Woof, that's sad. Uh, did uh, kid? Did you watch the new Alien, the Alien Romulus trailer? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm hesitant, but I'm in. Like, I like, I like that it's like I like Fede. So I like his Evil Dead. <laughs> uh, I mostly like Don't Breathe. So I'm kind of in. I I just I don't know. I'm still of that mindset where I'm just like, just let fucking Ridley finish his shit. <laughs> right. Um, if we could get both, that would be ideal. I know like Ridley's like a producer on it, but I don't know yeah. if that's like a hands-on producer or just that like, you know, he created the whole thing. So they have to give him that credit. The, the only thing that I've seen is, a. Uh... It's like Ridley Scott was the one that called up Fede Alvarez about it, like making Fede's alien idea, and that Ridley Scott watched, you know, his cut of the movie and was like, "Yeah, that ruled." All right. Yeah. I mean, as as I know, there's his, no way I'm involvement. not. I'm not going to watch it, but uh, I don't know. I feel. I mean, I guess I had the sort of the same way with like Alien Covenant, where I was like, I'm excited, but also hesitant, and I like that movie yeah. despite it having flaws. So we'll see. Yeah. Uh, so I'm confused about <clears throat> the timeline because the this is supposed to take twenty pl- take place twenty years after like the original Alien. Yeah. So is it Ripley like, would I be in cryo sleep? Yeah, and I saw because Aliens is like forty or fifty years after. Yeah, Alien. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I mean, essentially, the, I, like, just, all I couldn't these, remember all of the movies the... are just like here's a different ship that Xenomorphs attack. Right, that's fine. I just was like, conf- I couldn't remember like how long the time span was between it, and then I was like, is this in the actual? Like, I guess I also don't know what's canon as far as like two. Uh, like three four you know i don't know i mean they're all canon i think i I don't know if they consider alien versus predator sure yeah right but i I feel like well i hope not they shouldn't (laughs) (laughs) i i like i feel like it's whatever but it's like a story outside of the actual storyline so you know but i mean i um feel like for me my opinions on what are the best alien movies are not normal so i feel like i'll probably like it i think the only thing in the trailer that i was like eh, i don't like the look of that is there's this like shots of like the face huggers like jumping across a room at people that looked mm-hmm. kind of not great so i'm kind of hoping maybe that's just like a trailer thing that looks better yeah movie but like, i don't know i'm in you guys excited yeah. for a Beetlejuice sequel? 
Woof. I haven't watched the trailer yet. <laughs> I um, haven't watched the trailer either, and I don't think I will, and I don't think that I'll watch it. I just... I will probably watch me, it just whenever it's free, but I'm definitely not at all, like, in a rush. Yeah. I'm like, I'm Michael I, Keaton, I'll pretty much watch do anything, but, like, I don't know. I don't need Tim Burton hasn't been good in, like, 15 years. Yeah, I don't really like Jenna Ortega. I don't really care I about, don't either. like, the fucking sort of nostalgia. So... Sequel for me, shit. like Beetlejuice, original Beetlejuice is like a perfect movie. It's like one of my all time favorite movies. And I feel like, number one, there did not need, obviously, none of, well, most of these movies don't need sequels, right? But I just like feel, as far as like the story goes, why? And I, the nostalgia for me is not. I don't, I, I never wished, like, oh, man, I really wish that I could, like, revisit these characters. Like, I think it was perfect the first time. And, yeah, I also don't like Jenny Ortega. Uh, I think I don't really understand why she's, like, the it girl for that right now. But... Because Wednesday was so popular, so they're casting her in all of the goth roles at the moment. Yeah, but Wednesday was also <clears throat> stupid, so. Um, <clears throat> well, good news yeah, is not... there's a leprechaun reboot coming that is being described as gory sexy and crazy great love, <laughs> exactly love to hear leprechaun want. and sexy <laughs> together <laughs> um i feel like maybe that was it i feel like there was one other thing oh i don't know if we ever talked about the fucking new crow images well, slash trailer <laughs> I no, I didn't did, watch the trailer, but I think we talked about the I, The trailer the is about what you would expect. <laughs> yeah, also really not interested. How yeah, I, I mean, worse. we're absolutely covering it because we did all the rest of them. So. Well, that's fair. That's fair, but Talk I'm about sad about it, obviously. Machine Gun Kelly has the crow. <laughs> <laughs> really, um, really, really weird uh choice of design for him like it's it's just it's i think it's the same way like the joker thing was where i just think it's just out of touch executives yeah. and shit that are just um, like you know what the kids like tattoos <laughs> yeah that they're not wrong uh Bad, they love randomly placed eyeball tattoos. <laughs> eyeball nipple tattoos especially um i also watched the trailer for the penguin tv show oh i didn't see that like was didn't know that was a thing yeah i mean i knew the penguin show was i didn't know there was a trailer for it it doesn't really show much um well what can you show us a a fucking exactly exactly show and also like i don't know who most of the characters are but i'm like really intrigued because like we don't often get a like this this treatment where it's like the you know the reboot of the movie came out and then they're taking that character and doing a show that's like canon with it so i'm like i don't know interested to see where they go with it even though i know that you like colin farrell penguin i don't know if i'm sold on him yet i I thought he was really good i don't i mean like i don't know if he was necessarily as distinctive as say like danny devito or like the dude from gotham but i think he does a good job as like a Uh, more (laughs) realistic he's so good Come on, what are you showing me? He's he's. I think he's fun because he's playing it as like a Godfather type character, like yeah, like like, a normal. Which guy. I, he's just like a New York guy. I think yeah. kind of works. So, right, and, th- and that's why I feel like it doesn't necessarily. <clears throat> um, it is, and you know, that's kind of like when we way back when when we did the Batman bonus episode. The thing that we kind of liked about it, that it was, like, not, not a comic not book feeling movie. Not to interrupt for a second. Go ahead and keep talking. I just got to get something from getting delivered at the door. Oh, shit. So. Um, well, what I was saying was directly to him, so it doesn't really work for me to continue <laughs> talking about it. Um, well, whatever. Yeah, like, essentially what we liked about it was that it was not, like, like a over-the-top, like, comic book kind of, like, retelling or whatever. It just was really right. actually more realistic, which, um, obviously, the Colin Farrell version is. So, um, but I don't know. I just don't think I like Colin Farrell. There's something about him that, like, gives me the heebie-jeebies. You know what I mean? Uh, I love Colin Farrell. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> not seeing it (laughs) well that's fine 
Um, well, how you been? <laughs> good. <laughs> Pretty good. We decided not to get a uh, Steam Deck. Oh, um, yeah. He decided to do what I told him he should have done, which is just invest in a desktop and then I'm getting his laptop. So I will still oh, finally go. have access to my own Steam, but uh, just not. Which I feel like is better in the long run, because like once you get like a controller and the dock and all that stuff at that point, like what are you really saving kind of? Sure. But um, yeah. He wants oh me to play God. Elden Ring with him. I'm, I'm like, I haven't done any of the co op stuff with it, but I love invading people's games and murdering them. Wow. That's the best. Don't don't invade and murder me. Being, okay? being a monster is the best. You <laughs> you invade right before people go fight a boss and just murder them. Yeah, don't do that to me. That's so good. <laughs> I know you can't actually control it, but do not. If you see me, you better turn around and get, <laughs> get lost. <laughs> get out of here <laughs> come on get um i will die a lot but i think it'll be okay i'll have fun um it's the best it's yeah. so good and then the dlc comes out soon so we'll maybe i'll get the hang of it before then what are you talking about yeah, there you go hello elden ring oh uh all right do you guys want to do shout outs do you have anything no <laughs> since we did them for next week already uh, um, shout out the Chinese remake of Anaconda. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> I saw that like was, I had was, I saw I actually did. Thing. I actually did mean to bring that up. That sounds kind of like it might kick ass. No. Sure. I, I mean, I, I it's it's. I better watch the trailer when we're done here. I think yeah. it's. I think it's gonna be that like <laughs> that shitty, incredible. shitty fun type movie, but not like actively good. Right. Because I, I exactly can't exactly what I want out of Anaconda. Well, but so I can't. I can't tell if it's like it's being made like that. Like those, like what was that fucking giant spider? Oh like, yeah. Oh, that I can't tell if it's the same thing as like those or not. Uh, it's not gonna have a uh, indecipherable accent, uh, John Voight in it. So it's definitely <laughs> gonna be worse than the original. But. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, who shouted that out? Was that Kid or Katie? It's <laughs> me. Oh. It was Katie. Did... It was it, it was Quady. Okay, so is that just <laughs> going to be a shared shout no. out? No, <laughs> um, my shout out will be that um, I don't know if this was not available before because I have it on DVD, so I never tried to stream it. But one of my favorite BBC shows called Being Human, they just added it to Screenbox, which seems. Random, but if you have Screenbox, I highly recommend it. It's a amazing show. And two of the people are, like, actually... Well, maybe they were prominent actors before in England, but here they are now, and um, I love it. It's great. Uh, my shout-out is pizza that I'm about to eat. <laughs> pizza! Um... All I'm right. Pizza now. Next week, talking about Titan and how it's supposed to be pronounced. It's all the four of us in the episode have different pronunciations. <laughs> I think I say no. I say I said Titan. Yeah, I don't know. Lori, Lori from Queer Horror Cult joins us and teaches us the proper way to say it as a Canadian. So yeah, and we don't listen. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I refuse. It's just Titan in my mind. I don't know if I could ever pronounce it a different way. I know it's wrong, but it's just like the way it is in my head yeah uh so yeah that's next week um if you would like to support us you can join our patreon at patreon.com slash i suffer podcast uh there's an episode on justice league the flashpoint paradox that katie and i recorded that's like 30 minutes of us talking about how we can't wait to watch my madam web <laughs> <laughs> um you can leave us a rating and review on iTunes and Spotify. You can follow us on Instagram at IP Suffer Podcast. Follow Kit at Hidden Kit Stream, Kitification of Blood. Follow Katie at Werewolf Face. You can join Katie's Patreon at patreon.com slash werewolf face. You can listen to my other podcast, Nate Kate Movie Club. 
Uh, if you want to know stuff we watched, you have to wait till next week. Because <laughs> that's in that episode. Um, all right. We'll be back next week. Titan. Uh, I hope you get to the chopper, but why? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha